My next one says this. It's out of Jeremiah chapter 3. Uh, I don't have a name, but they said, uh, this Bible question came up uh, out of Jeremiah 3 where it explains that Israel did worse than Judah. Then I remember quite some time ago hearing on a YouTube channel that the years of Israel's captivity was related to them not letting the land have its Sabbath rest. Uh, I think what the person says was that they were in captivity a particular number of years in proportion to the Sabbath rest that they skipped. Uh, first of all, is that true what I heard? And I've, if I've remembered, um, can you please remind or correct me on this? If that is true, uh, what I heard, is there a particular Bible verse that says this about the Sabbath having not been uh, abided by linking to the years in captivity? Right. Yeah, there, there are, are. So over in Second Chronicles, <clears throat> in uh, chapter 36, it's the, it's the last chapter of the book of Chronicles, and it's talking about the destruction of Jerusalem, and it's given uh, the reasons uh, for the destruction. And it says um, in verse 19, Then they burned the house of God, broke down the wall of Jerusalem, burned all its palaces with fire, and destroyed all its precious possessions. And those who escaped from the sword he carried away to Babylon, where they became servants to him and his sons until the rule of the kingdom of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah, until the land had enjoyed her Sabbaths. As long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath to fulfill 70 years. And the reference in Jeremiah is Jeremiah chapter 25, uh, verses 9 through 12. And uh, what, what this is speaking about, and, and it's a really good question, but um, what this is speaking about is the, the law of the Sabbath. And so there were, uh, for the Jews, there were Sabbaths of days. And so six days you worked, and, and the seventh day was a Sabbath. And there were um, Sabbaths of years. There's also Sabbaths and months, but you know we'll just keep it to this. There were Sabbaths of years, and so uh, when they farmed their land, God said that what they were supposed to do is they were supposed to farm the land for six years, and the seventh year they just let it be. That's called letting it lie fallow, and then the eighth year they would come in and they would plow under whatever grew, and then they would plant their crops, and you would start the cycle over. And, and so the eighth year would also be the first year of the next cycle. And so um, for 490 years, apparently, the Jews had not kept the Sabbath of the land. And what Jeremiah prophesies, what, what, what God says through Jeremiah, is you owe me 70. And so you haven't, you haven't been keeping the law of the Sabbath of the land. And so the land is going to rest, and the way I'm going to make it rest is by having you leave for 70 years. And that's exactly what happened. They left for 70 years. And after 70 years, the people of uh, Judah were brought back from captivity in Babylon uh, during the reign of the Persians, as it, as it says in this passage. And so that's, that's the, those are the passages that speak about that. Daniel, actually, in Daniel chapter 9, is reading that passage in the, the book of Jeremiah when he realizes that the 70 years is almost up. And so that's a, that's a really good chapter to look at, too.